Today on Lisa's List, we're going to do a closet reveal, so stay tuned. <laughs> I'm Lisa Patterson with Daniel Ravenel Sotheby's International Realty in beautiful historic Charleston, South Carolina. And I'm going to go ahead and do the closet reveal. We do have some touch-up painting to do, but I, everything's in place. Uh, we have a little bit of tweaking we're going to do, but enough to do a reveal. Everyone's been asking me about it. Of the total renovation to this upstairs project that we took pretty much down to the studs, I'll have to say this is my favorite thing by far. This entire entire area back here was actually a bathroom and a closet. So it was a small closet and a small bathroom. And now we have this. I am so excited because now I have a place for everything. I can see my handbags, all my shoes, all my clothes, and I know what I have and, and what I'm wearing. And it just makes it so much easier. So I needed a lot of shoe storage. I need a lot of clothing storage, handbag storage. And we went with the IKEA system. Um, but before that, we ripped everything out. This entire wall had to come out to the outside. We had to remove windows, uh, put everything back together. Uh, all the flooring had to be redone, um, insulation put in. It was, you know, a major uh, project here just in the closet. We used the IKEA system. Uh, we had did a lot of research on it. And I'll just say, when you're working on a closet, plan, plan, plan. We tweaked this multiple times so we could get the storage we needed and make sure you use every square inch of space that you have because it's valuable space. Uh, the system was very easy. We installed it ourselves. You can see there's still some things that we haven't done, like um, popping in the little uh, grommets here um, that makes it finished, a uh, little bit of wood trim. But what I noticed, you can get lots of storage, like you can get these built-in trays, you know, for belts, um, some for jewelry. I was able to have a little bit of space to pop in a file cabinet for documents we need to keep, lots of drawers, and then you can get the glass front drawers. The plans are to add another drawer here, but all of this is handbags. And then the other thing I used was lots of baskets. Amazon, I just got the same baskets for the whole area and those great little um, pieces that you snap on over your basket and you just write on them with a chalk marker. So everything's very organized. The other thing I knew needed was shoe storage. And so I have a whole wall of shoe storage. The best thing that I found for shoes are these. And these adjust to the heel height so you can do flats or heels and I got these on Amazon I think there's 20 in a box for 20 some dollars got a lot of these it really helps with your shoe storage so you can get more shoes on the shelf and I haven't really finished with the boots down there we had room to put a stool here so I can sit down when I'm putting shoes on hanging space over here under that hanging space, there's a lot of drawers under there. Um, they were something else that came from Ikea, and I keep some winter things there. This big cabinet here has handbags, stored coats, winter things, and up on the top, some of my better shoes. Um, everything where I can really see. My plan is to actually take pictures of the shoes, put them on the outside of each box so it's really organized. I know what's going on. One of the problems I always have in my closet is the bars for hanging. They break. I have too many clothes on them. I just have too many heavy things on them and they break. So we came up with a solution to that. I'll show you. It's kind of hard to see on my side. I'll show you on the other side. But another thing I did was add these hooks. Just painted them gold. I try to put a gold tone with everything. On this side over here, cabinet for toiletry items. The, I got these great hat forms on Amazon. Uh, Amazon was a good resource for a lot of things I did for things like this for hats. And I have another one over here that's a floral. This is for towel storage. This was another great little vintage piece that I got at Village Emporium. And then 
literally I can pull that stool over here and sit here at my computer in the morning and check my email right after I get dressed before I start my day, which makes it easy. I also have all my sunglass storage here. I have a lot of sunglasses. Again, this was a product from Amazon. Um, and it just, it's very easy to see what you have. And remember we kept the washer and dryer in here and I just hung a panel. So it kind of hides it. I mean, you can still tell it's a washer and dryer, but it helps a little bit. This um, dresser also gives plenty of storage on top for jewelry boxes and things like that. So what I was going to show you as far as um, me having a problem with my clothes and the, the bars in the closet. Uh, we actually bought pipe from Lowe's and then we bought the different pieces and put it all together and I spray painted them gold. And then that really helps with, if you have a lot of weight on these, they're, they're not going anywhere. The other thing you'll see, I put a pop of blue on the ceiling for color on the beadboard. And then we have more shoe storage and a mirror here and lots more baskets. Um, the other thing um, in here, I did really nice light fixtures. I mean, just because it's a closet doesn't mean that you can't have nice light fixtures. The other thing I did, I made sure to hang a very large mirror in here so we can always see. And you also see the light fixture. Just because you're in a closet doesn't mean you don't ha can't have great light fixtures. So even though it is a closet, I've added some art, some decor, some fun things. Um, it's like coming in a little boutique in the morning and getting dressed. But one of my, well, two favorite things that I have in here is in this little glass case right here, all these little pieces in here belong to my grandmother that I was very close to. So I see those every day when I get ready. But the other thing is she kept a diary in her entire life. And I have a few of those diaries and this particular one's a five-year diary. And every few days after I get dressed, I stand here, I pick it up and I read a few entries that she made. And it just makes me think back because um, right now, some of these I'm, I'm reading through the year 1955. So that's kind of fun. But I've literally also in some of the other ones from when I was a child, find entries that she did about me coming to visit and things. So that's kind of fun. Makes my day start out nice. But whatever you're doing on your closet, I hope this gives you some inspiration. And until next time on Lisa's List.